entrepreneur called it that. Okay, the questions asked and answered. Is that is relating to the if at all? I mean, I was doing a program especially on Shillong. That was my first visit to uh, Shillong when I went there, and they have given me a chance that you do a deliver a session to the group of officers. How can I do that? You know, but I, okay, I have just said it. What I have done, I have explained everything. You know what I have done at the last. I said, how my education, the teaching, what I have done now, is benefiting in your job. Kindly explain. After class for one and a half, I used to explain for one and a half, and they thirty minutes, twenty minutes. They used to do a presentation. They used to present. They immediately they got related to the job. So my education system is in place. So now what I request to you people who you are here. Here is sit straight. Okay, here is try to relate the education, the lesson what you are teaching person as an entrepreneur. For example, if I am talking about any cat cam, how that can be enterprise? Ask them to give a small presentation tomorrow. Just go into the subject, go into the net and everything. Okay, so now for that we government of India. Okay. We government of India has done something great. You know what we have done is we have made benefit for you people only. That means that if you are starting the business, I am there behind you at every stage. At every stage, you don't, you never, you should not feel alone. Because why? Because you are creating my country. You are benefiting the country so that I can support you people at every stage. So that's the reason where we are talking about institutional support. Clear? Now. What exactly is institutional support? Can anyone tell me what is MSME? Micro, small, and medium enterprises. Micro, small, medium enterprises. It is. Now, what is the necessity for me to do this? Micro, small, and medium. Why should I do that? Because I'll just give a live example. The government of India has given one crore to BHL. It's a big company, large company. They have given one crore. Now, what they have done? They have only given employment for two people. One crore is nothing for them. They have given employment to two people. So the government of India thought that why can't we create the uh, categorization of the business? So micro, which is very small, okay, very very small, small and medium enterprise. So what I'm doing, I'm doing the categorization of the business. How do I categorize? Based on the capital that is required to start up a business. In how? In, in what way? Micro comes on. Of, uh, less than uh, 20 uh, lakhs or so, and uh, small is between 20 to 50. On, on, so, on, 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 Micro, small, and medium, but not by the MNCs or the large scale industries. See, let me put it. No, no, it's not, not, not of the feeder. Not of the, see, why I am doing that? Why I am cash? Uh, how do I do that? Any investment made on the plant and machinery, for example, this. So this is this is uh, a building is one crore. Okay, this is also fixed capital. Basically one crore, and I invested twenty lakhs in the mission. From your point of view, when I'm asking you what is your knowledge, you said one crore twenty lakhs. But from my point of view, I only take twenty lakhs, not this one crore. That means that any investment made on plants and mission is only categorized as by purpose. How do I do that? Put them registration. How do I do that? Put them registration. Based on that, I will. Now here is a small thing. Now micro. Now what have they done? They have recently added it uh, turnover also. If my turnover is increasing to that extent, then it's called micro. It is one crore and five crores. If my investment is on plant and machinery is up to one crore, or my turnover is not exceeding five crores in a given year assessment year, I have called as micro. So what is the benefit? Say for example, the government of India want to support micro enterprises in Vishakhapatnam district. Okay, so what I do, I never go to here. I just go to the DIC district industry center or Vishakhapatnam and call him and say, I want the report by this evening how many micro enterprises are there. How do I know that? By my Udyam registration. If you are not registering Udyam registration, you are out of the state. Okay, so Udyam registration we have done and immediately I got. So then the government of India, what they have done? Sir, in the Udyam registration, the investment, 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 the investment
they will be taking on they will be okay now but i said madam we start to mention that now no no so what i've done zero i can update it every time my question is it's not about uh, qualification i my qualification is have to start the business Zero. So you cannot say that this so if a person can start the business, so it's a no. That kind of uh, problematic zero. The only thing is, I want this Aadhaar number and what business is going to start, and what age it might be. Something. But the only problem is, if I am putting above sixty, getting the loan will be a difficult task. Now they have to prove that. So this is what I am doing, and this is I am the in charge because of this. I am doing, and then we can convince the bank. Other than that, nothing. Is. So, my or no, what I've done? They have given one crore, one uh, one institution said they have selected hundred people, they have trained them, okay? They have given a report. They have, everyone got one lakh as a loan. Hundred people, one lakh, one crore, and, and, and everyone has created a number of two people, not bigger. Two into hundred is two hundred, and the people have started businesses one hundred. Three hundred people has been generated. So see, the government of India then identified, understood. If we are going to support micro enterprises, then only our thing is. I'll tell you an example. By the time you reach to the main road and go to your house, can you tell how many shops are there and how many people are employed? You cannot count. I can just count in a Vishaka steel plant. I can count Vishaka might be two thousand, three thousand. By the the moment I am traveling to Vishaka steel plant, how many small stores are there which are employed more than ten thousand people? In a one lane, almost ten thousand people are employed by a micro enterprises. So. The government of any government is they are looking more on micro enterprises. So, so how, why should I do that? This, so that's the reason the government of India has created a MSME. And investment is ten crore, fifty crores, medium is twenty crores, and hundred crores. So this is what a classification. Be careful. Any investment made on the plant and machinery only is considered as it is. The problem is why why I put that? The people are taking the land of Africa, Africa, okay, Africa land in the industrial area. And they are putting a valuation of almost about fifty, twenty, or thirty lakhs. But when they are looking at the investment part, they are saying, "One, my investment is almost on one crore twenty lakhs." The banker has a doubt. So the government decided that any investment which is made of plant and machinery that is categorized as okay. Yeah. Okay. Sir, please. Any more questions? Anything? MSME. Now, the government created a separate ministry for that MSME. And they are supporting us. No. How it is doing? Now we have a institute called DCMSME. It is Development Commissioner of Micro Small and Medium Enterprises. It is a pure body under. All of it, me. Yes, sir. You will understand. Yes, sir. Right. Now the DCMSME is a body under ministry directly. They are handled by directly. What is the major aim? Is to advise the government of India, especially making MSME policies. Now, for example, I'll just give you a live example. There was entrepreneur memorandum one for registering the business. Okay, for Entre register entrepreneur memorandum. I have done that for my own sake, and I have started my business. Okay. Some great in that day, India lo running full of this. Running full of the end of the day, for the running full of. Okay. Now. So the, what they have done, uh, this MSME, they have advised the government, saying that sir, the first and foremost problem of any business is registration. If I am doing entrepreneur memorandum one in the online, taking the print out and going to the DIC district industry center and giving them to approve it, they are taking n number of days. They are not approving, and they are asking a number of questions. So because of this, I am stopping to do my business. So government of this decided to give a Udyam registration, Udyam. Then they have come with them. So this was the greatest thing with DCMS. Now today, anyone wants to start the business just by doing an Udyam registration. The business registration is done for proper anything. Okay. So this is one. Apart from that, we are also supporting technology. Now under this, we have an institute called MSME DI. What about Koyal Sir? Defo, he was there. One of our sir, DOF was there. Sir, what is their main main 
thing. Any district, listen to me clearly, you need not to swap Sudarshan from Hyderabad or anyone from anywhere, not required. Every district will have one nodal officer. Every district will have one nodal officer, MSME DI. You can just go to the Google or type it MSME DI nodal officer of Vishakapatnam or a particular district. You will get the number and call him. He has to mandatory support the people. His job is that. His job is that to provide and support to the people to start their own enterprise. What they do? They assist the prospective and practicing enterprise. Say for example, if I'm st- I've already started the business, when I want to scale up my business, what is the support they'll be providing us? If any individual new person wants to start up the business, they'll be helping him to start the business by providing all the necessary input like project preparation. And, and apart from that, they'll also have an industrial progress. What, what is my requirement? Say for example, I'm going to start a business. Now I, w- I should understand where I'm getting the raw material. If say for example, in Odisha, there's raw, raw materials available in the particular district or state. State industrial profiles say that this raw material is available. At. Second, they'll be conducting a district industry service. Okay, they'll be having some district information there. And apart from that, the most important for you people, for your colleges, is they have to conduct IMCs, industrial motivation campaigns, free of cost. All of it, please. Yes, sir, lovely. Yes. Some people are in here and some people are there outside. Okay, so I have just now they have to conduct IMCs, industrial motivation campaign. One, after doing that, they have to conduct EAP enterprise awareness camp. Third, they have to conduct ESD. So this is a mandate of those people. Now to conduct the program, you better approach them. They'll be conducted every year. They have good hundred crores of fund, but they are unable to get the student. So it's a support from yourself. So apart from that, the major thing is. Ancillary development. Ancillary development. You know what exactly it is. Say for example, there is a big industry which is going to set up in Vishakapatnam. The moment it becomes a capital city, solid capital city, some big industry is going to come up. Any big industry will not manufacture the small small components. For example, nut bolt or something. So my benefit is if I am being an ancillary unit of that, that my problem is solved. So that information will be there with this MSME DI. So can just talk to them, sir, if any industry is coming down, what are the raw material requirements? What is the product's requirement to them? Okay. So once it is done, then my benefit is that I am going to start the same business so that I can supply to them. There is no need for me to uh, start a new business. What is the requirement of the big industry or any electronic chip or something that I will be manufacturing and give it to them? Because big industry will not manufacture all the small products, they will only assemble it. So this is my best part. So MSME DI, MSME DC, MSME, it's mainly for that benefiting the entrepreneurs of the startups. The part of our bit, it will last. Big task. The point is, how do I approach this? Just shoot them a mail. Okay, shoot them a mail that you want such kind of support. Then definitely they have to respond. They have to. You know why we we are we are the people we receive the mail. If you are not responding, immediately we will get a call from our DG. That of the institution will definitely do it. Today, RTI is very dangerous. RTI is very dangerous. That was, I was the culprit of that. Just one month back, uh, there was an RTI on me. I was shocked that I was happy. Okay, sir. Okay, I am also working. Some of the people have given part T20 in a different mode. Okay. So today, MSME, DC MSME or MSME DI is working close to them. And they require students to start their business. So this will be a support for you people to start, help the people of practice. Clear? Any more questions? Any more questions? Anything? No. We are talking about technology, technology entrepreneurship, everything. Sir, as an individual, say for example, as an individual, I am Dave. I want some technology. I want some technology because as an individual, my knowledge is limited. I have tried something, I have designed a prototype, but uh, I should understand will this prototype work? How do I know that? How do I do and develop a prototype? There is a technology resource center that are available across the for any particular technology. You ask anything, there is a technology resource center. 
Okay, for example, for food, we have CFTRI or electronics, MIT is there. For everything, there is a technology resource center which is available to the government. The only thing is you have to shoot a mail or talk to them and say that, sir, I am so and so person. I am developing a technology. I want to understand which this technology will help the future generations. So, what I am to go there and just show my prototype, but before that, sign one document called NDA, non disclosure agreement. After signing that agreement, you just do that. And they will look at your prototype, they will sub support, help you to design something new or they will accept it. And they will give the machinery to develop a product. Now they will only charge a very minimal amount. Okay. They will only charge a very minimal amount. You have to use the machine and develop your product and go to the prototype. Let the product be tested and get a lab report and your product is done. Clear? Yes or no? Are you comfortable? No, it's severe. They charge very normal. Very normal. Three hundred dollars, madam. Hundred. Hundred. Madam. Thousand. Sorry. Any type of sensors. Electronics. Intuition. They used to do all the. Electronics. Oh yeah. It's a highly simple. Yeah. It's like. See, the only thing is they charge something some minimal amount because it should not be misused. Yeah. So they they'll be. Is it only for a product manufacturing? Like for example, when somebody wants to do a textile. So for them. No, no, what I am saying is, no, I'll just, I'll just, see one thing, if I am, I want technology into textiles, when I want to create a new fabric, new fabric, something, you know, today people are coming, they have new fabrics, fabrics, one of my students, this was a startup, when I have done a program in Hyderabad, he is from Dubaga. And he's doing something which is Belgium, Lenin, and anything. So, what the technology wants of it? That's the thing. Okay? Now, that between the textile industry and anything, it does not require this stuff. If at all I want to have a new technology in my brain, new technology, something which is new, okay? Something which is new, then that will be helping me out so that I, as an individual, I cannot do that. Because I have the mission, I cannot buy course of history just to understand whether this work or not. So, there's technology resource center for everything. We talk about textiles or your food processing or electronics, electrical, mechanical, cat, everything. There's a technology resource itself. Then, yeah? plastic. It's a plastic industry, they, they have their own missions. Which is things. Okay, so what they do? So this is what they, they have the IOD computers the environment, the cities, which will help us today. They'll have all technical books, which is related to us, all the information where we can gather. They'll also help us to get the new technology, which is emerging in the world countries. They'll also help us the information. So now, technology and resource centers are playing the major role. We cannot say that technology entrepreneurship, technologies and everything. How do I know that? See, I know I have some technology, I have some technology, but how do I develop a product? How do I know that then this product will be effective or not? So this technology is a set of Okay. And yes, 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 yes. They will come on. They do a research. There are central instrument will be done. It's a CFT. See, we have a IACD, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. They are developing a technology which is related to some new things where they can take it there. If at all I go to ISAT, some capital related thing. Okay. So this is what my mixture is and this is what I'm coming down. So as an individual, there doesn't have the such equipment to do that. So I'm going to approach them, have a letter, talk to the scientist, and he'll be supporting and I can go there in front of him under his guidance. I can. So we have NIN is the National Institute of Nutrition, which is there especially to food products. CCM is there, Central Cellular Molecular Bank, especially in Hyderabad. So these are n number of technologies. It has the only thing is we doesn't want to go. India the problem in India day we when the moment I go come out of my house I should have all the benefits to me, which is not there. So I start criticizing. The only thing where I can do it. Right? So there are n number of technology resources which are available. Yeah. And uh, one more important point is we will be conducting some training programs also. They will be connecting some training programs especially related to the technology. Say, for example, I say CFTRI, they will be connected with technologies. Now, 
my small uh, submission to you people is today we have huge opportunity in india do not criticize the uh, 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 abroad countries usa they are well established than us we indian are only holding the nail of the tradition and just doing all this nonsense sorry to say you know when we when you go outside can you even tell me how much of the food we waste how much of the agriculture produce what we waste we are not even using 30 or 40% 60 percent is wasted by the transit or something or the other it is wasted the people are putting the farmers are doing such a big thing and when it's a transit the that thing is wasted we have a tomato where we can make a powder we have a mirchi powder is there everything is there but why are we are not making the product of the vegetables that can be utilized i i have all sort of vegetables which are there some for some simple thing where we can help to have a sustainable of self life where it can increase why are we not making a potato powder something if i am getting the price today i am having the product 10 rupees to by the next time it's 100 rupees tomato when we look at it's almost a 10 uh, immediate is going to 100 rupees up for 100 rupees and we are forced to purchase such kind of things where vegetable agriculture produce which is there we are not unable to use that fully so that is a technology where we can take a support of cfp area Okay. So this they will be conducting regular training programs for the people. Second, regional testing centers. Now, what we have? Say for example, what are the product I have uh, manufactured? I want to understand whether this product is viable, commercialization, or I can export it. So they have, we have regional testing centers are there where I can take my product, give it to them, they will test it and give me a lab report so that I can export or I can sell the commercial. So apart from that, there will be all these are there chemical, all uh, mechanical, electrical. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but they're not easy. So this is an equipment monitor story. Now they'll also help us. Say for example, if I want to start a small testing lab. As an individual, that in support of them, they'll be helping out to support is establish that. Field testing stations, they'll come down to my premises. Field test testing station, they'll come down to my premises. Okay, they'll test the product and give the lab report. Clear? Small disturbance is going on. Something not about this. Yeah. Two groups and training centers. Okay. C and D. Now, for example, I'm manufacturing this water. Okay. I'm having plastic mesh and everything. Mesh is also. But what about my dye? A shape where I can put it so that I can pour plastic into that. Now, for that, I have to have almost a one crore as a machinery. To develop a type, how can I do that? No. So there is an institute called CIDD. It's nothing but tool rooms, central institute of tool design. What they do is, you have to go them and give the design to them. Say that sir, this is my design. I want to have a die of this. They will be manufacturing on behalf of you, and they will be giving the die. You have the machine, put it, hold the plastic, and you'll get the sheet. And apart from that, they'll also they work as this. They'll be manufacturing tools. On tool components, okay, CAD CAM, quality control and testing, and they will be conducting a training program on a regular basis. So, if anyone is interested to set up such kind of thing, especially to tool designs, CAD CAM, this this, this is the institute where they will be doing Central Institute of Tool Design, which is there in Hyderabad. And now, on a regular basis, they will be conducting the training programs. Some are free and some are paid programs, and they will also conduct some diploma. Okay, so this will be you know the benefit is. If I'm into the personal government industry, so definitely I'll have a benefit. So I'll be learning something new. Clear? Product from process development. Any product where I manufacture, if I want to develop it, if I have to enhance the quality, as an individual I cannot add something more. So, say for example, I've taken a machinery to my Product and process development, and said that sir, the product which is there, which is giving me output of 100, but I want to increase the efficiency. 
So how do I do that? So they will be this will be there. So, so product comes. They will also improve the development and improve packing techniques also. Design and innovation. All this instead what I am telling are having a manpower development training. Some are unpaid and some are free. Course. So product comes process development is there. CFTI. It's a central footwear training institute, which is their base at head office in Chennai. Now, if anyone is interested to start a business, especially on the footwear, in new designs or new technologies, these people will be able to. So, if at all I want to start, they'll be able to start from the scratch and to the product. They'll also give the new technologies, availability of raw material, manufacturers of the machineries and everything. They'll be providing the information to me so that I can take a course under that and they start my own business. Clear? Everyone tell me which institute it is. That is recognizes. Okay. This institute is National Institute of MSME, and I'm happy to be a part of it. It was my, you know, when I in 2013, when I've attended a program of FDP, by going to the, the first time I've seen my that campus because one of my friends was there. When I entered that, this campus was very great. And the trainings of entrepreneurship. That was my passion to enter into that. When I attended the thing 2013 14, I was attending one program 14, 15, 15, 16. And when I've applied for job, that was a great thing. I got selected for that. And this is my sixth year. It was probably by April, I leave because I doesn't want to be this side, I want to be that side. I want to start my own enterprise. Okay. Now, this institute has a legacy. You take today any person who's training into entrepreneurship. Are the product of NIMS from 1962. All the district industries and what you look at, that was a brainchild of NIMS. You look at any person, any IS or IPS officer, especially into entrepreneurship development activities, supporting MSMEs, they are trained at the embassy. Your AS sir, the register sir, yesterday he was taking the class, he was the product of us. He was there for, has done some research part in our campus, but staying there for three months. That's why he was sent. So, from 1962, we are continuing all doing all this thing. So I request everyone to kindly look at my website on a regular basis. Okay. So many programs. So it was a great thing and we shared with all the people. Now, and then we we will be conducting a number of programs which are paid and uh, free also. And uh, we have trained almost 10,000 international students. I have trained almost 400 so, uh, since. Uh, Four, five, four years, we have done. All these people come down to India to know what India is doing because of entrepreneurship. So we teach them, they go to their respective countries and they start working on it. They'll be giving the advice to the government of India, their respective governments, so that they can increase, especially because African countries are more, they will be supporting them. Okay? And the dedication part, what we look into them, apparently to the Indian students, everything, they're so passionate to learn something new. They does not understand the language also. They come down to us and uh, they come down to us and we teach them and they go, go to the respect and they'll share with us today. And apart from that, we'll be conducting a number of training programs, especially for officers and entrepreneurs also. Okay. So this is good. And we are also having a, a journal called SEDBI. It is a free of course, maybe it is a it's, it's under the SAGE publication. We will be submit, we will be providing genuinely submitting the paper that will be published. Lisbon and IIT. Yeah. These two instruments, especially under us, the point is actually we used to have a supporting factor from Lisbon for DSP programs. Now, every college can conduct an entrepreneurship development program in their campus to the students. How? On April, May or May, June, there is a notification from DSP, Department of Science and Technology. Okay, in that you have to submit a proposal that you want to conduct the EDP programs or FDP programs. So that once you have submitted, you will be getting the sanction and they will be sponsoring. So request to everyone, all the faculties who are here, kindly look at the DSC Department of Science and Technology. In that we have a technology entrepreneurship team. In that you can submit the programs. Okay. And uh, I, I it's, a, it's my uh, my sister concern. It was a part of us, and now it's looking into entire Northeast East. Now, 
Yeah. Any doubts? Anything? Last minutes. Because next is very, very important. Doesn't mean that others are not important. Any questions in this regard till now? Do you help any? Whoever you try, uh, do you further handhold them? Do you further handhold them after the training? Yes, yes. We, we are starting a new initiative called mentoring. Now we mentor them. The only problem is, see, if anyone is coming down to us, the first thing what I hate is, sir, can I get investment? You know, I don't know. Investment here, you know, sir, business idea and all. Come here. Double bed investment, uh, double bed business strategies are uh, required condition. The only thing is, the business which is sustained for a longer time, they have not invested first. They have done a low, low lot of things. When we do to the, when we talk to the students also, that is, and so many people have complained against me also. I said, thank you very much. One person said, sir, that investment is. Sir, I need door, you can make a move. I'll go to it, said, next building. Oh. You know, because. Mentoring is a part where we have to support them. Now I am a registered mentor for the startup of India, government of India. Almost from yesterday, I got they allotted me 10 startups and mentoring them. And when I'm mentoring, they are asking me the investment. So I said, well, let me come back to that. Okay. Any more doubts? Since you No. Only thing is, I go to Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. Yes. They're based on their, their own things, sir. It doesn't mean that they will not, any government will not charge highly, sir. The minimum, the, the reason they are charging minimum is to restrict the effect. Today, if you people, India is a you know, free country. India is a free country. So anyone can do anything. Okay, so that, that was a restriction because serious people are not coming. So they, they charge very minimal amount, which is in the that's something which can be claimed from a refund also. If you are registering as a my ma'am is there tomorrow, Swapna. She is also my mentor. Uh, when uh, I was a participant, she was my faculty. Okay, so now if I'm taking a taking a trademark or if I'm taking a patent, that will be reimbursed if I'm registering as a with them registration. So that if at all you can claim different also. The moment I get a dive. Any more? Please. Any more? Any causes from finance safety institution? Yes, we are having that uh, institution of finance safety. You can just talk to them. And, but you should be very specific what exactly you want. See, when we are going to any government offices and things, we have to be very specific. That should be on the paper. That should be on the paper. You know, when we go to them, we say, Actually, when I was joined this organization as a government, for one, one and a half year, I said, and if anyone is coming down, I said, I'm busy. I asked them to sit for five, ten minutes. When I went to other organizations, the same thing they have done with me. I waited there for half an hour. And you know what he's doing? He's just having the tea and talking to the people. Then I realized that's wrong. So from that day, anyone comes down to me, you meet it. So those people are acting. You have, it should put in the paper and just submit it and take the acknowledgement. Take the acknowledgement. That will be good. Anyone will be good. I'm not saying asking investment and for my place so is wrong. No, 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 listen to me because the question what you think is wrong. See, any business should not will not start with investment. Any first visit to anyone, investment should not be at the priority to talk to business. That's what I think. Yeah. Wrong place. And uh, Guidance from my bank. So, what is education? It should take guidance from your uh, institute and maybe ask questions from bank. Taking the item of uh, see what what we what we do is we we teach and we support the entrepreneur in every aspect to go to the bank. So now he is going to the bank with the project report, with your registration, and everything. That is the entire thing what the banker required. So we'll be submitting them. When we go to them and say that sir, you can you help me out to do a project report. That will not suffice. Yeah. You see, even in my own uh, experience also, uh, I will like share my experience. Many entrepreneurs comes to us. The first question they start with is, I need money. So 
that puts you into a, a different uh, uh, perspective you know what money you wanted it should the word should come from the other side you should have that kind of a skill set you know try to convince him the idea on which you are working is a great idea huh? and uh, the money part you know you never talk to the person whom you are going to meet if you can create narrate your story in such a manner the person who whom you have met he himself should come out with that kind of a word is how much money you need no, that is what the skill all of us should know and learn that so if the moment the first word if you say i also used to feel embarrassment and when i also went to many governments saying that i need this kind of a money to do this project they also used to feel that kind of a uncomfortable and uh, that uh, the total uh, uh, ecosystem you know somewhere it is uh, not correct they used to feel that kind of a uncomfortableness you know the first point should never be a finance <laughs> try to convince them you are pursuing a great idea you are the first time in this these are all the challenges and if i pursue this and uh, bring this product to service what kind of impact it is going to make first attempt should be convincing the other person to buy your idea then money follows automatically now many proposal are reaching any government official or any funding agency the world you know money part should be spoken by others then they will be very comfortable that is what my experience that great thank you ரிகார்டிங் எம்எஸ்எம்இ டிஐ technology research centers regional testing centers and field testing station and nims more importantly is who is going to handle for everything these people are there no look at me i am happy you know current you know i am not habituated to the pp now say for example you are going to start this all are with me loudly yeah okay. now you are starting the business Now, first instant, and immediately you say, "Who is going to support me?" Yes, there is one issue in Pan India. We call NSIC, National Small Industries Corporation, Government of India. Now, what they do is the only thing is you have to uh, put the rules. Oh, stop! Yeah, now. Uh, <laughs> now the moment i registered udyam registration i am preparing a project code go to nsc and say that sir i want to start the business okay he said okay you pay me money i registered see there is some no- nominal amount 5000 rupees you registered and you paid the money and you got a register certificate the second instant you start as sir i am udyam registration udyam is free nsc you have to make the payment that is very important i will tell you it's a central government agency okay now when i'm making the payment when i'm making the payment register with them look at me now for example the first information i require is machinery i have machinery details but i, I want to have a good machinery which i also standards which i so what they do sir can i you give me the so they are given list of the machinery which are available across india and what is the price you can just talk to them and get the machinery for second if you want to import the machinery from outside country there are certain rules and regulations there are also all licenses you doesn't have so just say sir i want to export the machinery but sir said okay boss we will do on your behalf but you take the ch- you pay the charges so that's one so i got the machinery second important raw material same an example i'm having purchasing the i'm doing a, some product called aluminum products if i'm going outside i'm just giving an example if i'm going outside 20000 per ton but nsic will give only for 15000 rupees you know why because it's a government of india agency they buy in bulk they have pandya godown they will be supplying the raw material at a lesser cost compared to the market. 
So that I'll be getting the raw uh, materials. If I'm buying buying in bulk or something, or pay now. The second support is good. And third support is say one example. People feel that buying the machine is very big task. That thing like that. Machine is only one part. My raw material requirement on every day, daily basis, it's very huge. Okay. So today I had telex in my pocket. Purchase the raw material, manufacture the product, and sold in the market. Will it give me immediately? It takes minimum forty-five days of time from the government of India, as per MSME India Act. If anyone is purchasing your material, if is no oral confirmation regarding the payment or no return, it deemed to be forty-five days. So you cannot go to the court. You cannot go anywhere. You have to be quiet for forty-five days. Forty-sixth day is not paid. With the twenty percent rate of interest, you can claim that. So this is the MSME DI. What you see. So I got the amount. So I have got no forty-five days. Then what should I do? Should I shut down my center? You go to NSS and say, "Sir, I want raw material assistance. Okay, boss, you do one thing. Give me a bank guarantee. So you go to the bank. You want ten lakhs. You have ten lakhs raw material. You go to the bank. Deposit twenty-five percent, two lakhs fifty thousand. In that, as an FD, fixed deposit, and just give that FD to the bank. So you give a bank guarantee of ten lakhs. Okay. You go to the uh, NSIC. Give that bank guarantee. Come back. Buy the raw material from the vendor before buying. Go to the vendor and ask, sir, I want the quotation. He has given the quotation to you. Give it to NSIC. NSIC will issue a check on it. Take that check, give it to NSIC. NSIC, uh, the vendor, vendor will give the material. You match that. The benefit is with two lakhs fifty thousand, I'm getting a amount of ten lakhs. Selling it, I'm getting a benefit of thirteen lakhs. I'm paying fifty thousand to NSIC at ten thousand to bank. That is two lakhs forty thousand. So now agreed, sir. Great. Tomorrow I want to go again. It's a never-ending process. See, the raw material is very, very important. I cannot put everything in from my pocket. Block by ten lakhs there. That can be used for other purposes too. No. So what I can do? I'm just giving the benefit is I'm getting the raw material assistance. Normal charges are there. So every time I'm doing. So this is a bigger support from NSC. No need to worry. So it doesn't have raw material. It doesn't have this. No need to. The only things you have to just go and talk to them. Is this and we? Yes, yeah, a bank guarantee. We see the problem with uh, people is see when I'm applying for the bank loan. Listen to me, kid. When I'm applying for a bank loan, ten or twenty lakhs, I got twenty lakhs sanction. Or what people do? No, they take twenty lakhs. They doesn't know what to do. Don't do that. Twenty lakhs is sanction. Great. Ten lakhs you take it for the machinery. In ten lakhs, just you made an allocation. In ten lakhs, you make an allocation, sir. Ten lakhs is for five lakhs letter of credit. If I'm doing any export and five lakhs for bank debt, in the approval process, I'm having on that the heading itself, ten lakhs for the machinery given, okay, okay, and uh, five, uh, two lakhs for the wrong, uh, working capital for three months, and three lakhs for my letter of credit, and five lakhs bank guarantee. It is in the application process ap approval day. With that approval, I go to the NSS. You know, no need to worry. I'm not putting a bank guarantee again. Not paying any amount. So in that application process, that I have to make it. So then, when I'm getting a bank guarantee, it's already there. Then I get my raw material with clear cost. When I'm charging, see the business what we do, it should not stop anyway. In a sense, is it is having officers panning, is having officers panning. Clear? Let us see this one. Well, I'll ask. And second, sir, great. Now, sir, as I was saying, textiles. Okay, she's into textiles. Now there is an exhibition at Hyderabad. Does she want to come down from here? It is almost two thousand as travel charges, three thousand some transport, five thousand transport charges. The stall is ten thousand, and other charges put together thirty thousand. Just spent for this exhibition. Now after coming back to Vishaka Patna, she has had a bills and she submitted to NSIC. NSIC will repay sixty percent of that. You know why? Because I want to encourage you to participate. I tell you how many of you know uh, exhibition Hyderabad, Numaish. Yesterday, February fourteenth, it ended. Okay, can can anyone expect how many people are there? How many walk-ins will be there in a forty-five days period? Approximate. Approximate. Twenty-five lakhs walk-ins are there. In the twenty-five lakh, if one thousand people are staying, looking at my stall, I am done. And one more important point, you know, I don't miss, don't put it another way, but the community say, you know. In 25 lakhs, 80 percent are Muslims. You know why? Their 
there is a some wording in that right. saying that not handing up no? they yeah. in quran in quran they say that the person who kept an exhibition if you go and buy his family will be surviving so you look at any place okay. muslims will be then have we made a research and people are you know they go different they are trying buy only one rupee or two rupees or five rupees not more than that but people are doing that. And one more important point, I'm not against that for any tradition. In the Muslims, how many of you seen the marriage is only after 11.30? In Muslim community, the marriage will be only after 11.30. You know why? They feel that the person who's having the business will close the shop at 10.30 or 11. They go to the house, they come up and attend their wedding at 11. If we Telugu people, what we do? We take an office leave, okay? We'll shut down the shutter and run for the marriage. I'm not putting in a negative way. There are certain traditions. Okay. So now if I'm participating in that exhibition, I'm getting a referendum of 64. Why? I'm encouraged to participate in more number of exhibition. So today I want to market my product. I have to go door to door. But in exhibition, thousands of people will come down to see my product. No? I'm sitting there. Thousand people will come down and if I, my product is good, if I give my card, tomorrow they'll definitely call. Me. This is my support from NSS. And second important part. For example, people are here with me. Now the entire business, the entire program is techno entrepreneurship. But technology is there. There is one technology, good technology which is there. But there is a huge demand in abroad countries. So, for example, there is an exhibition which is going at Dubai. All are listening to me. Yes. Yes. No one sleeping. Yes. No, definitely. Sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, now point is now I am participating going to Dubai. Flight charges are there. My boarding lodging charges are there. My strong charge. Put together one lakh is there. Okay. Come back to your respective district, submit the bills to NSIC. For men entrepreneurs, 85% is defended. For women entrepreneurs, 95% is defended. Halif is the one which is saying very good. Everything. Women entrepreneurs are focused more. Okay. So if I'm participating, if I'm going abroad and submitting taking my technology and showcasing, no need to get orders, no need to show any orders, no need to show any. Thing. The only thing is you should genuine, you should go there, submit the bills and this will enhance my product. You know why government of India, today the rupee and dollar exchange, okay, more things are there that we are importing the products and let's say our currency is going out. But when we export, I'm correct, yeah, yeah. when we export, yeah. we'll get the foreign exchange and automatic market. So that was the major reject of the government. So now NSIC is supporting that. Huge, you know what they do, how NSSE will survive? You know, I'll just tell you. It started in the year 1955. Government of India will give 100 crores to NSSE head office for 4% rate of interest. Okay? Sorry, 2% uh, rate of interest. Head office will give uh, to the branch 4% rate of interest. Okay? 4%. The, the person, the branch office will give to the public 6% rate of interest. 2% is there. Okay. You know, after taking that, 1000 they return back to the government of India and they pay 300 crores royalty to the government. Again, back. That's how NSS is working. It's, it's a huge today. So, any support from the from NSS is here. So, raw material assistance and recruitment and exhibition support. And apart from that, say for example, now you people are there. Say for example, you have started a business. There is a government, say for example, Andhra University is there. Now they want to buy a product. They want some buy, some notebooks and everything. But they cannot go to the uh, open market and buy. They have to issue a tender. So, Andhra University requires so and so notebooks and everything. Now, as an individual, you are manufacturing the notebooks. If at all you want to purchase the document, it's almost a 500 rupees. And when you want to, okay, when you want to uh, fill that, uh, submit that tender, it's called EMD. You have to put some 2% of that up. For the anything which is huge also. So if you are registered with NSIC, this tender rock is free of cost and that's EMD is also not wide. So I'll be getting and I can submit the tender. Third, for example, the government of India requires one clack computers and you are the computer manufacturers, but you can only manufacture 100. You're not having almost a 10 you can manufacture. So NSIC will on your behalf will participate in the tender of one lakh, take the order from the government of India and distribute among yourselves. Distribution so that you can man what is the manufacturing capacity and just sell it to them so that you are better. So apart from that, NSIC, wherever they go, they promote it. So NSIC is the main key feature for supporting businesses. Every way there is a support. The only thing is 
we try to we doesn't want to go there agree government agencies are there but provided they may be talk to them that's very important. they may be talk to them you see eh, people are passionate especially women when you go to any saree showroom the saree is not there will you leave him sare pad ostundi okay the, it's not about purchase it's of the passion when we take the same thing if any boys are going to any movie if the ticket is not there they will come back because they are passionate and the same passion is put forth in the uh, business put them standing in front of you people no none of my bg are looking me where i what i am doing i'm here in the hotel i can come at any point of time 10:30 or something but i'm here by 9:30 it's not because something i want to show is my passion what i'll do there okay so anything doubts i'm just putting it Send me. No, no. Uh, yes, you can. Any more? No, it's very important. Please. The two is one. Totally not understood. Totally understood. Not totally understood. I the can't believe. That's small doubt. Yeah. You're saying that NSS it supports anything. So even we have something called MSME Samvada Samvada programs. Hmm. Do See, MSM is Samanda, MSM is Championship. There are some uh, problems on the websites. So, no, for grievances, grievances, Samanda, Champion. Next, but NSS is a huge front for every business. Ma'am, you have a major role in textiles. There's not Chalam. No, no, because in Maxwell, people you know are textiles. One more important point. This is okay. So, I'll I'll tell you. This is during the artisan cup. Have I told you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very very. Any one, that's the best thing. Well, that was the reason there is a saying: don't be, don't give them the fish. Help them to how to right. catch the fish. That's very important. Okay. Yes. Upkeep or is the event is the part? No, no. Sir. It's only for handicaps. Handicap. Only handicap. The people are doing with hand. Any more any questions? No, we have a Jamal advertising that. Yeah. Yeah. No. If they are doing it by hand, if they are doing it by hand, they take. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But don't use a dangerous word to them. Huh? Simple, something which is people can understand. Okay. So in a sense, is there? And uh, apart from that, we have some institutional support. Now we have some institute called CSIR Institute, which is there with this the government of India's funding to this CSIR. Hundred crores, um, hundred to thousand crores a year to do the research. They are doing it, but the only thing is, the, what are the development, what are the innovation they have made? They are putting in Almara. So that is not solved. So the government, especially Modi sir, has instructed that that has to be commercialized. Now, when we look at Sorgham Research, millets, as this being a millet year, they have almost all having I mean, hundred and fifty new technologies of recipes. Now, what they are doing is they are kept for the commercialization. If I'm buying it one, they ask me for fifty thousand. If I'm buying it for six, they ask for six lakh, one lakh fifty thousand. So twenty five thousand each. I have to take that one lakh twenty five. They give me a no and everything. So I have to manage the product. Put the government emblem. I can sell. And second is NRCM meat, National Research Center for meat, which is again a research center. They'll be doing research on the meats on a regular basis. So if anyone is interested to start a restaurant, especially into that, we have only chicken, chicken to it, but they have twenty five items. You know, I've seen the product there. If I am packing, the packaging machine is there. If that is packed through that machinery, it will not be waste of a ten years. It seems such a you know thing where they have developed, and they have a number of uh, products and everything. I was a part of it. And I say me. So there are a number of research centers. The IACD is there. In the Institute of Chemical Technology, CCMB, NIN, NGRA, all these things are there. The only thing is you have to approach them. Whenever you are talking to the student, ask them in which field he is interested. No, ma'am, you tell me. Don't. It is like giving the medicine without prescription. In just like some students, I like without. Madam, jump in the new. No loss there. No immediate first mark payros. So that's why I never told anyone. Because people are so much. You know, when we talk to the people, they directly go and tell information to other people at their posts or all. Clear? So. Yes. 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 Y